Welcome to the Snake Pit. Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the NES Library, 1985 to 1995. The sweet spot of my youth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> massive book, massive undertaking. Every freaking game in inventory played, reviewed against this genre, written by Pat Contry. My apologies if I mispronounced the last name. Pat has his own YouTube channel. He has his own website. Huge, you know, huge YouTube channel for good rights, for good reasons. YouTube channel is Pat the NES Punk. And let's see, web page, website, uh, thepunkeffect.com. I'll put links to both down below. Whoosh! <laughs> Look how thick this is. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right. This is my review of the book. No copyright infringement intended. And I'm not going to linger on any pages, you know, that type of thing. But I want to give a taste to it to see if anybody, you know, maybe someone's interested in, in this stuff. Lo I love the NES system. I am currently, uh, over the last year probably, you know, I finally got me an original NES system with the box. You know, I've been getting old, old games. I've been introducing these old games to my, uh, my kids, and they're loving them. Not all of them, but I mean, definitely Super Mario Bros. is a big hit, and this is part of pop pop culture even today. Super Mario Brothers and Nintendo. So the next best thing to having every game, or even knowing what's out there, the best thing is this freaking book. All right. Before I show you the pages, every game reviewed was played uh, he did have some help from some some other big time NES collectors so to speak so you can get those games play them get some opinions that type of thing that's my understanding but Pat rates every game on a five-star system but he rates it by genre which is interesting so you might have a genre of sports and so that's how it's gonna be rated it's not gonna be stacked up against like this the Super Mario Brothers that's a good way to do it. And he tries best to take the nostalgia aspect out of it. And I know because not only has he said that in his vids, but there's a game in here that I would have rated a lot higher. And thinking about it is because of nostalgia. That's what I had type of thing. So let me kind of flip through this and, and talk about, man, I love all this old uh, advertising imagery. Uh, right out the gate, well, first off, table of contents is is awesome you can find all your games that you're looking for in there and it's gonna tell you what page it's on I mean this book is massive oh I'm knocking over my stuff so every every game review has the actual picture of the game cartridge on there which I love and some screenshots which I love so like I said this is the next best thing to have in the game beautiful write-up on what the game is about and then it gets into, it tells you the genre, the release date, the developer, uh, the publisher, the number of players. What else does it tell you? Uh, special effects, you know, does it use a battery? You know, can you use a, a, a password save or something like that in there? Does it need the zapper type of thing? Is it a licensed product? And the availability, is it common, uncommon? You know, very common type of thing that's a big deal for collectors and then you have the star rating um, one through five stars from what I've seen through here and you know brilliant brilliantly done I love it nice huge massive book so <laughs> just an example here's one of those like afterburner he rates a two star right there I freaking loved afterburner right all right, I don't want to linger on pages for copyright reasons, but I freaking loved Afterburner, in, and I would have rated it higher, but that's because of nostalgia. That's the game I had. He rated it again. He was able to play the other games in that same genre and must have found something else better type of thing. So I'm still reading through this. I've had it for I don't know how many days now, um, and I'll give you my rating on this. I'll rate this on a five-star system myself. And... <clears throat> I'm going to 
take into consideration some things but let me tell you straight out the gate and this is something that happened in shipping apparently from you can see some damage there damage there and it's hard to sh it doesn't show up too well on camera but this is pushed in there so it did some jostling around when shipped this is a heavy massive book it was fully bubble wrapped but there was space in in the boxing and that's not past fault that's the warehouse that's shipping this out I contacted him freaking took care of it I'm not gonna say what he did because I don't want people like trying to scam the system or whatever I had proof not that I needed it but I had I mean I videotape the opening of everything I do right because I have a YouTube channel but and I give him photographs stuff like that so I'm happy with the solution to this uh, and and honestly I was gonna keep this on the shelf as a collector's piece he does do a digital I wish I had mentioned this earlier he does do a digital version of this you can download a digital version and which I did as well <laughs> so you can have it on your computer you can have it on your e-reader and that's also a freaking great option I, I like using that uh, on the computer but um, since I had a little wear on this already it kinda took it's like getting that scratch on your on your Mustang for the first time after that it's like okay it's a little it's pretty upsetting when it happens but then it's like alright I'm gonna I'm gonna really use this this book now for what it was intended to me to flip through it just the hands-on experience compared to a digital version I love it I'm introducing my kids to these type of games and I tell you what Super Mario Brothers is a freaking hit there's some other games that surprise me that they like but this shows me some games. I'm still looking. For, I'm going to start looking for some games I didn't even know existed. Love this book. All right. As you can see, I'm enthralled with this book. On a five-star system, I'm going to rate it a five. And you might be like, well, it came in damaged. But that's not the book's fault. That's not the writer's fault. It was the warehouse that packaged it and shipped it. And Pat took care of this personally. Like, he made sure things were right with me. And I was good with it. So I'm not taking that against the work and effort that went into this. I, you know, I went into this book, so say what you will, but I'm rating a five star. Five out of five. I don't think there's any other book out there like this that I've found. Pick it up. If you're a Nintendo fan, pick this book up. If you don't want to pay, you know, the, the, the physical book is more expensive. Go the digital route. Uh, at minimal, I would say. Great item for any collector so many games in here that oh man if I could show them and I might uh, try to sneak a peek on another vid I don't know I don't want to I don't want to ah, get it great book boom